people ask me, what implant do you want me to use? And I'm like, go for Anklos. You won't go wrong because aesthetically and everything, it would be fantastic. What I like about Ankylos is the soft tissue and the aesthetic element of Ankylos. It really is unique. When you place the implant subcrestly, you get bone growing above the head of the implant, and then you get soft tissue growing above that. By being able to place it and have that complex between the head of the implant and the gingival margin of the tooth with so much tissue, hard tissue and soft tissue that remains and adheres to the lovely Atlantis abutments. The fact you can get this thick collar of soft tissue and these aesthetics that last for such a long time. That's something that really, really gives us unmatched aesthetics. When I have that liberty of going subcrestal, having that beautiful tissue chamber at the end, which gives me enough room for my tissue to grow and my papillas to grow, I think it's very difficult to find in a system which will have enough research and background towards it and at the same time give you what you want. Most of my work is immediate placement, immediate loading, even for single tooth, anteriors, posteriors, or flosses. Ankylos, as its implant system, has all the elements that you want from a digital workflow. A single tooth workflow with the new ELOS SB22 scan body allowing you to restore single teeth. And then also on balance based abutments, the fact that you can now digitally scan and using several different workflows make provisional and final restorations means that there's something for you however you want to restore your patient. That is quite a game changer in terms of how we can use them, in terms of the speed, in terms of accuracy, which is something that is really key when it comes to digital workflows. The patient compliance raises as they see that you can work with the same system which can provide you the best results, you can also work digitally. You know, Ankylos just makes that whole process easy and we've never been more profitable. All the modern literature and all the modern studies and papers and all the scientists today are investigating which features can make an implant system better, are identical if not resembling the features that the Ankylos system has since 35 years now. Because I work in a clinic where I see the long history of Ankylos, I see patients coming in with Ankylos implants that were placed 20, 25, 30 years ago. I see that longevity, I see the long-term results. The, the proof is in the pudding. All the data just shows that it works. It's been tried, it's been tested, it's been proven. It's fantastic. So, yeah, happy to use it. Having the knowledge that this is what the implant is going to look like in five years, ten years, and that patient is still going to look that way when you've done the work correctly is something that gives us the confidence to actually say to some of those patients, yes, we can do this for you and we know it's going to last. We have seen that its properties have been copied by many other systems but have never reached the completeness of the Ankylos. So my desire is that Ankylos wouldn't change too much in the future because it is the best so far. A wish list for the next stages of Ankylos is to show people, show the younger clinicians that it's all about a very simple system with only three drills, which is compatible with the digital world and can give you safe results and you can sleep quiet at night after you leave your office. That would be my wish. <laughs>